Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest Dell Inspiron 3535 series of laptops. Now, if you are still planning to buy this laptop, this is a video which will uh, enable you to have an informed decision before you buy the laptop. And if you've already purchased this laptop and you want to upgrade the RAM, SSD, hard drive, uh, maybe battery in the future, then this video is for you. So let's do it. So this uh, Dell variant is the AMD processor variant, the 3535 denotes that it is a AMD variant. It has got the model that we are reviewing today is a Ryzen 3 7320U processor. There are Ryzen 5 variants also, the model number will remain the same 3535. So anything that is uh, ending with a 5 will have a AMD processor in the 3000 series of laptops. Maybe if it's 5635, it means a 5000 series which is a AMD variant. Here we have 3535 which is the AMD variant of the Dell Inspiron 3000 series of laptops. The Ryzen 5 is also the 7000 variant as the Ryzen 3 which is also the 7000 variant. It comes with 8GB DDR5 RAM, 512GB SSD and it comes with uh, Windows uh, 11 Home and uh, MS Office Legal Edition. In it. Now let me show you the exterior and the ports and the interior of this particular laptop. So on the top over here, uh, it has got this uh, same 3000 series, uh, 3520, 3530. All these models have the same carbon black finish and uh, it has got a smooth matte finish over here. The Dell logo is over here. So the base of the laptop is again having the same smooth uh, matte finish. It's got this perforated area where the heat gets dissipated, one single fan. It's got left and right uh, bottom firing speakers over here. The rudders are also there, uh, the rudders are differentially placed. So let's see if there is a top flex on this particular model. There is a good amount of flex here. There is good amount of flex. Let's see if there is a keyboard flex over here. So there is uh, quite a good amount of flex here in the keyboard also. Let's see the keyboard quality. So the key travel is not all that great, the raise is not all that high. So you will not have a great uh, experience typing on this particular keyboard. Now let's see if the laptop uh, opens with a one hand operation, which is the major issue. As you can see, it does not, uh, the hinge stability taste again, this particular model also has the same issue. Unless and until you calibrate the hinges, uh, we have the video in our uh, bio, you can just check uh, the video in the description. So you need to calibrate the hinges so that it opens with one hand. Once you open the laptop, uh, you have the three sided nano bezel, uh, it's got a full HD IPS 120Hz panel. Now that's a fantastic thing for a laptop of around price point uh, over here in around 30,000 to 40,000 rupees is what the company selling this particular model here is at and it's got uh, 230 nits uh, brightness and uh, it's got a very good viewing angle and 120 hertz refresh rate. It's got a HD camera with the uh, mic array. The keyboard is again the standard uh, Dell Inspiron 3000 series keyboard and uh, it's got the same smooth matte finish uh, that this particular model has. It's got a pretty huge uh, unipad, uh, multi-gesture touchpad over here. The AMD Ryzen 3 logo is over here. The power button is there inside the keyboard itself. The laptop does not come with a backlit keyboard. That is something that we had desired, we would have desired to have. The heat vent is over here, again just below the screen. On the left we have the DC jack connector and we have the DC charging indicator. You have the HDMI 1.4, you have a USB 3.2 and you have a C-Type uh, 3.1. On the right, uh, you have a SDMMC card reader, you have another USB 2.0 port and a headphone mic combi. So there is uh, no Ethernet port on this particular model. On the rear, there are absolutely no IOs whatsoever. So now let me show you the webcam quality of this particular model. So this video is shot from the Dell Inspiron 3535 series of laptops. Uh, the camera quality is HD again 720p uh, at uh, 30fps, that's the max that it will give you the output for. The quality is fair enough, uh, the audio quality is also very good, it's got good noise cancellation. So uh, good thumbs up on the web camera of this particular model. So let me now show you the audio quality of the speakers of this particular variant. Perfect. Thank <laughs> you. 
the speakers are pretty loud and uh, having good bass also you cannot call it very tinny or uh, having a very good bass also it's somewhere in the between so good uh, quality speaker for this price range i think it's a very good uh, speaker quality that they have integrated now let's dig deep into this pedal laptop and check uh, uh, whether you can upgrade the ram ssd hard drive and all those things uh, for this particular model first thing first you need to flip the laptop and you will see all these different screws over here which you need to remove with a star screwdriver let's start with the hinges screw this screw and this particular screw will not come out please note that it's specially designed so that this gets protruded over here and you can uh, remove the base easily this screw will come out all the other screws will come out so once these screws are out you can just take a triangular pryer like this and start protruding and the base will be out. So this is the way the base of uh, the inners of the Dell 3535 Inspiron series look like. So unfortunately, as you can see, there is uh, no way you can uh, replace the RAM over here. Uh, the SSD is here, the battery is here. Let's start with the battery first. So we we'll just need to remove this particular connector over here. So if you want to replace the battery, you need to remove these screws. and the battery will come out. So if you want to uh, replace the battery, the battery type is uh, G91J0. This is the battery type that you have to take. Take a similar battery and just uh, replace it. So coming to the part where the SSD is, in a scenario you want to replace the SSD, you just need to remove two screws over here. One screw on this side, another screw on this side. These two screws are out. And then this plate, which is carrying the heat sink will be out over here and uh, you can just remove this particular ssd so this basically has got a micron 512 gb ssd it's a gen 3 ssd 512 gb nvme ssd just take a similar uh, ssd like this this is a m.2 2230 form factor you can take a long format 2280 also you can upgrade uh, over here in this laptop up to 2 terabyte just need to take a similar SSD like this and uh, you can insert it over here again put back so as you can see the RAM is soldered on this particular uh, Ryzen 3 7000 series uh, motherboard based laptop as is the case with most of the other companies like Lenovo and HP all of them are having this entire thing uh, RAM is soldered so this is a Wi-Fi chip so if you want to replace the Wi-Fi chip just need to remove this one screw over here just need to remove this Wi-Fi chip like this you need to remove these two antennas just need to pluck it out and the antennas are out just take a similar uh, wi-fi chip and uh, you can again put it back like this and uh, fit the antennas back all right so coming to the part where the fan is say in a scenario your fan is not working just need to remove this one screw over here and another screw over here and uh, the fan will be out you just need to remove this one connector very gently just remove this connector and uh, the fan is out so this is the fan that you need to buy in a scenario your fan is not working just put it like this again put the connector and uh, your fan is fixed this is the heat sink basically in a scenario you want to put a thermal paste just need to remove these four screws and you can put thermal paste over here this is the io board which connects the memory card usb and the dc uh, this is the power uh, jack it's connecting to this main motherboard this is the daughter board and uh, this is the part where the keyboard is connected it has got a backlit uh, connector over here unfortunately the laptop does not have a backlit keyboard but in a future if you want to connect a black backlit keyboard you can as well purchase and you can put a backlit keyboard over here the circuitry is very much in place for this and uh, many times the keyboard is not working you can just remove this particular thing and you can keep it like this and you can use a usb keyboard and you can start working so this is for the keyboard and this is the part where the touchpad is so you just need to remove this and uh, the 
touch pad is out so this is where the speakers are one and two both these speakers uh, there are no screws whatsoever just need to remove it like this and it is connected over here you just need to remove this uh, connector and uh, you can remove the entire speaker assembly and you can replace the speakers as well so let us just uh, replace the let us just put back the battery and just fix it back like this let's put the base cover back and uh, the laptop is good to go so this my friends was a video showing you the review the disassembly process of the dell inspiron 3535 series of laptops this is the ryzen 3 variant that we have checked and uh, this is a good entry level buy for people who are just looking at you know working on word excel powerpoint internet browsing movies and you know regular stuff please don't take this particular model uh, laptop for uh, video editing or doing some high end uh, engineering applications and all so at this price point it's a very good uh, you can say a business class laptop to be precise even though it is a consumer grade but you can use it for your business case so this model has a Ryzen 3 7000 series processor it has got 8 GB DDR5 soldered RAM you cannot upgrade that uh, RAM from this particular laptop it's fixed at 8 GB uh, the SSD can be upgraded up to 2 terabyte it's a good thing you cannot put a hard drive in this particular laptop separately the battery is also good it will give you a good 4 to 5 hours battery backup the webcam quality is also very good uh, the speaker quality is uh, awesome the screen again at this price point they're giving a 120 hertz screen with full hd ips so that's a good thing the only hindsight is the hinges calibration test that fails you again need to calibrate the hinges of this particular model i don't know when will dell learn this particular thing and change the hinges or the change the entire design of this particular uh, 3000 series of laptops it is available at uh, approximately 30000 to 40000 rupees depending on the configuration that you're buying ryzen 3 or ryzen 5 this is the price range at which it operates Thank you so much for watching guys, uh, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe and share this particular video. Thank you so much.